Most of you have heard of the good cop, bad cop routine. During an interrogation, two officers will take on two roles as they do their best to extract a confession from their suspect. It usually begins with the bad cop being very aggressive and making threats to the suspect, and then the good cop will come in and act sympathetic. The goal is to get the suspect to cooperate with the good cop because they fear the bad cop. This routine has gone on for decades, but in 2018, a detective named Greg Bigda would be indicted by a grand jury for excessive force against two 16-year-old car thieves during an interrogation where he played the bad cop. On February 27, 2016, police would chase a stolen police car until the two suspects inside would stop the vehicle and flee on foot. Police would use canines to find the two 16-year-old boys, and Detective Bigda would put them in handcuffs. According to eyewitness testimony, Bigda assaulted one of the suspects while he was lying on the ground. He would walk up to one of the boys, kick him in the face, and yell, Welcome to White Town. After the boys were arrested, they would be brought in for interrogation. Well, we guys, you, know, you, know, you know what the best that I have is Springfield? We don't have a nice new department like this. You know what, in my department, see that camera up there? It don't fucking exist. So anything that happens to you at my place, never happened. If I don't write in a report, it never fucking happened. You want this to be the worst day of your life? Because I think you're fucking lying to me. I'm just saying the truth. Alright. Motherfucker, I'm telling you right now, you're going back to my house in a minute. My house is a fucking whole different world. You decide to come to Palmer on your own, you come back to Springfield, different world. We don't play the same fucking game. Do you still want to stick with that? You have no idea who the other kid is? I have no idea where I got the car all that shit? You're all right with that? Do you think... I was just tired of this. All right. If you, dude, if you're telling me the truth, you're fine. If you're lying to me, that's you. What were you guys doing in the car? Oh, we were just trying to... What did you break into? Huh? What did you break into? Hmm? Where did you get the quarters from? The quarters? All the coins in your pocket. Oh, the king that you got there, but no. He gave them to me too much. Oh. You know I'm going to beat the fuck out of you when we get back to Springfield right now because you just lied right to my face. Why? Because you fucking broke into something. I know you did, and you know you did. But so when, when we get back, I'm going to tune you the fuck up because you just lied to me. And I'm telling you in advance, and I'm being nice to you. I'm, I'm man up. You're a fucking grown ass man. So I'm just gonna let you know right now. This clearly from your car. From what? They're not from the fucking car. This is my fucking car. Now you're fucking making me mad. Fucking start coming to the goddamn truth. That's my fucking car. My car. Where'd you get the quarters? Last chance. That's where you got him from. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright, good luck, dude. The detectives decide it's time to try their luck with the other suspect. It's fucking hard. You see this fucker? I fucking mean everything. This is my dad, this is my face hurts. You think it hurts now? You know what we're doing after this? We're going back to fucking Springfield. You know the mountain of the Springfield? See that thing up there? Right there, you know what that is? That's a camera. You know what Springfield don't have? Cameras. It's fucking old school. You know what happens in Springfield? You've been here before. I need some information. And you're going back to Springfield no matter what. It just matters how you go. It's 5.20 in the morning, Daniel. About three hours ago, they stopped paying me to be here. When they stopped paying me, you know what that means? You get pissed. Exactly. I've been fucking humping through woods with a fucking dog shitting all over the fucking place, bleeding all over the fucking place for a bunch of little fucking cock-sucking piece of shit like yourself. You know what that makes me? Mad. Now, we can fucking all this, you know, it's a game. It's all a game. You, you do your part, I do my part. But the problem is, you fucking get on my bad side, my game gets a whole lot realer than yours. 
You broke into some place, and that's where all those fucking coins came from. You're in a fucking stolen police vehicle, which really makes your fucking day bad right now. Because you think your eye hurts now? Did you know that? And that angel, who you miraculously don't know and miraculously got in the car, you can't come up with a name on. Do you know what that means? What, just to the name of the angel. Angel. Oh, well, that's just angel. Just angel. The only fucking angel in Springfield, but fucking four million. You know where we're going here? We're going for a fucking hospital trip for you. You fucking been running through the woods, stolen car, spike strip. I could fucking crush your skull and fucking get away with it. You need to fucking start rethinking your fucking area right now. Like a couple little scrapes, couple little cuts. You can fucking bring the dog back, let him fucking go at you. You stole a fucking cop car, asshole. Your day's about to go bad. You want to rethink anything you told me? Yeah, I told you it was a juice system. What'd you break into? Because you obviously broke into something. You only had the car for less than an hour. There's fucking coins fucking flying all over the goddamn car. I didn't break into that. The only money I had on me was cash. But you know what they, you know what they broke into? Uh, honestly, no, sir. Because before we go, you guys started chasing us, you was only in the car for like about 45 minutes an hour. I'm really sure you want that's where you want to go. I'm going to be so serious, sir. Uh, you, you better be goddamn serious, because you know what? You fucking just put yourself on the list. Not only do you have to survive tonight, which is fucking questionable, but from here on out, you live in Springfield, right? Yes, sir. Mm. Where? You stole a fucking cop car. How fucking think you, how, how fucking great do you think that is for the rest of your life? Yeah. Couple opportunities here. Who Angel is, what you broke into to get the coins, will be the third. Will be there any third opportunities because that's all we really need, right? Yeah. So those are the two things I want. Listen, I want you to think on something too, because I want to know who Angel is. I want you to think about who he runs with. I don't even know that kind of shit. Well, like, I just met him this year, 2016. Okay. I don't know him, like, personally. Where'd you meet him? I met him over here. Um, who was he with when you met him? He was with. Okay. Well, if what you're telling me doesn't piece together, yeah, we might a lot fucking coming out, man. Yeah. Yep, that's what it is, dude. I mean, I'm I'm chill, but you know, you can see he dealt with a lot, so you're fucked, basically. I'll tell you what. I'll I'll give you the angel because that's fucking not out of the ordinary for you fuck. I'm probably gonna know who your fucking father is. So I'll give you that. But fucking where you broke into isn't out of the question. And I'm not gonna fucking let that one go. Yeah. So that one, I'm gonna hang that one on you, alright? I'll give you the angel. And I'll let angel go because that fucking happens. Fucking jump in the car, have a few fucking beers, whoever the fuck it is you people do. I'm not giving you the fucking break. Because I know you know where that fucking money came from. Being so serious now, don't, don't even fucking speak if you're gonna lie to me. Because I'll fucking kill you in the parking lot. So if you're gonna fucking not tell me where it is, don't even fucking speak. Listen, it's not that you did got out of the car and were opening car doors and shit like that, but you were watching that. Dude, you fucking rolled coin, fucking pockets full of quarters. You broke into fucking something. You're a breaker. We know that. You got nothing on you. They do. So they broke into something. I just want to know where it is. So the fucking working man can get his fucking shit back. Save yourself some fucking grief. Save yourself a whole lot of fucking angry cops. Fucking hunt you every day. Tell me what you fucking broke into. You ain't gonna get charged because you don't have any on you. I know I'm not gonna get charged, but I'm saying it's all. Oh, dude, motherfucker. Hey, motherfucker. I'll charge you with killing Kennedy and fucking make you stay. 
So don't fucking tell me what you're not going to get charged with. I'm not hampered by the fucking truth because I don't give a fuck. People like you belong in jail. So don't fucking tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. I know I'm going to get charged. I'll fucking charge you whatever I want. I'll stick a fucking kilo of coke in your pocket and put you away for fucking 15 years. I don't give a fuck about you. I give a fuck about the guy you broke into. So I'm giving you an opportunity. And again, I'm telling you, I'm not going to charge you with it. I just want to be able to fucking find out where it is so I can give the guy his fucking money back and fucking straighten this shit out. And I know you know. It's a pretty clean offer, dude. Uh, was it with the... Okay, then just tell me where it is. Where what is... Where were they broke into? The fucking coins fucking falling out of everybody's pocket. I wasn't with them. I wasn't with them that long. That would have been the fucking first thing in conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Well, a bunch of fucking goofy, worthy boys get in a fucking car together after they fucking hit someplace and got a fucking pocket full of coins. First thing they're going to say is what they broke into. Did they tell you they did that? That's fucking bullshit. Yeah. Some of the dudes are just going to tell me what to do. Dude, I'm going to kick you right in the fucking face as soon as we cross the Springfield line. Because that's a bunch of fucking shit. You steal my car, you break into a fucking working man's business. Any of that sound like something that I want to fucking give you a break for? No. What's the kid in the hospital name again? Good luck, dude. Well, you you told a little bit of the truth. Um... I, the one thing I'm not willing to who was driving the car? It was an angel? No. You sure about that? Yeah. Where were you sitting in the car? In the back. Which back? Um. Behind the driver or behind the passenger? Behind the um, driver. I need to know where you broke into. That's my one, my the pet team of mine. Um, I'll tell you. Okay. But I, me, I didn't know. I didn't know. That's fine. I was like, yeah, they were. Then roll coins. You don't break into cars and get rolled coins. I don't know. Where'd you break into? Not me. It was that. Yeah. Alright, where were they? What did they break into? Um, uh, to, to a couple, like a couple cars. Well, no, again, you don't get rolled coins. You got coin. You know what rolled coin is? It's when the, in the paper rolls. That comes out of a business, not out of a fucking car. Because I was scared. I didn't want to do it. Alright, alright. Go ahead and cars. But I'm not fucking enough for the game. What did you break into? Because another kid already told me that you guys had already broken into it when they picked, when they picked him up. Oh no, we didn't break into any cars when we picked him up. No, it was before he picked him up. Yeah, but like, I didn't break into any cars. Right. Yeah, but again, you don't get rolled coin out of cars. So you broke into a business somewhere. You broke into a building somewhere. It didn't bring into a business. You got all the old coins. All those coins in your pocket, where did they come from? Those coins, they were in a bag, and then there was like pennies, and, and the pad that you see, like right there. And yeah, where was this car? It was, it was in that car. The car we were in? Yeah, it was in the pad that you see behind the car, in a bag. All right. I'm going to tell you one thing again. Again, you, you're awake, right? Yeah. You're fucking conscious. You're speaking English. That's my fucking car! So that fucking coin was not in the car, you stupid fuck! So I fucking left all that coin in my car, and I didn't know about it. Fucking wrinkle your arms, fucking shrug your shoulders again, motherfucker. I dare you. Once you get out of You the broke into some cars. I'm alright with that. It fucking happens. It's what fucking kids do nowadays in Springfield. But you don't get rolled coins. You don't get fucking rolled coins out of my goddamn car! So I'm not 
other words, you broke into something else and got the coin. I, I can see on your fucking face. You're looking down. It's a fucking telltale sign. You're looking down to see whether you can tell me or not. I'm telling you right now, you should fucking tell me, because your night's going to go fucking really bad from here on out. Think carefully. Think very fucking carefully. Because if you keep blowing smoke up my ass, your fucking day goes horrifically wrong. When the kid picked me up. He already had it. Yeah, exactly. I guess, uh, it was like 10 minutes after, and then he picked me up, and then we left. And then he told me... After what? Like, he said, well, I'm going to get the car and just, um, stay right there. It's a new one. There's nobody in this room other than you that's that dumb. Okay? Rewind it a little. Then when you start speaking again, tell the truth. Because that was just fucking stupid. And he's not. He's kind of. And I'm definitely not. Stupid. You have the coins? Because you only can. It's not the way you know. Why would I want to lie to you? Because you're fucking degenerate. I'm trying to give you the opportunity to change this fucking really bad night. I know you know you're a juvenile, blah, 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 all that other shit, nothing's gonna happen yet. But you gotta remember. You live in Springfield, right? I'm there every day. He's there every day. The other 500 police officers are there every day. So when I put you out there as the police department's bitch, and every time you fucking step your head out, What'd you break into? That's all I want to know. I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to fucking do anything with it. I just want to be able to fucking know who I have to notify of what you broke into. And if you tell me a car again, when we get back to Springfield, I'm not in the way to Springfield. When we hit that fucking line, I'm going to bloody your body. Just tell me what you broke into. Cars. Cars. You don't get rolled coin out of a fucking car. From the middle. Open. Someone had rolled coins in their car. Yeah, well, just, like, well, then you fucking had rolled coins, you stupid fuck! They pockets full of this shit! I don't have it, so. A rolled coin! Rolled coins? Yeah, in a little wrappers, the whole nine yards. You had fucking pockets full of quarters. Tons of them. But what I put in there was times five and um, twenty-five of the coins, but they weren't. The thing though is like, you have a whole point, correct? I don't have a whole point in the car. It was in the car. Yeah. Like, if you ask him to bring the yellow thing, he's got a bunch of things. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to change it. It's not like tons of it. Yeah. Yeah. But it was too old. Yeah. The other stuff in the car was. Well, I didn't know what it was. Like, those are not broken. I know. Listen, the stuff you had in your pockets was. Yeah. But the stuff that was in the left in the car, my car. My car. You understand that, right? The rest of the stuff that was found in the car was rolled coins, which means it came from a fucking business. Um, he, he searched it, and then that's when I found those, and then that's when I like, started to come up, and then, yeah, that's how it was found. Who found the, 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 the money rolled, wrapped up in the paper? I guess it was. That's all I found. Was it from the car that you were also in, or a different yeah, car? No, just in the car that we were in. Where was this car? Which one? Yours. Oh, the car that you broke into. Yeah, where was my car? Where was my car? Where was my car? It was the one from Pizzeria. There, that's the fucking first true diesel tonight. We're, we're now we're working back towards a better place. 
So you get in the car in front of the pizzeria, right? No, that was me. Because I was in the pizzeria by the time that happened. Okay. So like, I didn't know that. So they stole the car. Who's that? Um, that kid. The one? The, the little one. And who else? And that kid. He picked it up? Yeah. But I didn't know. Because I was walking to order of some, some food for my mom. And then I started in the pizzeria. I went back forward, back and forward to get the food. Mm -hmm. And you got to see the other one that works there. So, you know, I didn't have nothing to do. Okay. So you get the food for your mom? Yeah. You go home? Yeah. You know who has the car? No, that time I didn't. You did. Now I have my brother. all guns in here. Because my brother and his friend mm -hmm. and him, they were all coming from like downtown up from the shelter. Okay. And I saw them, so I was like, they didn't say nothing like that, so I just walked to the street. But, and I thought, what I thought. And I went to your house on the chicken block. Okay. And then I went to my house. Okay. But mm -hmm. it took like, like 30 minutes for it to be done. Okay. And then after that, I went home. And then that's when they started to say, oh, he stole the car, he stole the car. But I didn't so they came back to the house where you were, mm -hmm. and he went and took the car. You know, but by by that time when I already got to the house mm -hmm. to you know get my mom food, the car was already gone. And that's when he started saying, "Oh, they stole my car," and she goes like, "Damn." So were you in the store when the car was parked out front? No, I was in, in the pizzeria. Yeah, right. But yeah. I didn't see the car like, backing off or whatever like, driving over. Was, you know. Did you see the big white guy chasing it down the road? No. I was inside the piece area. Yeah. That's when the, you came in and said, they stole my car. And I was there in the I know it's all white guys look alike, but it wasn't me. It was you? No. Oh, I know. Caucasians don't look alike. It's alright. And then um, when they said that they stole the car, he was left. And then that's when she was like, oh, well, call your brother to see if he's in the car. I was like, oh, no, he's not. Just he's in the house. Okay. And then he's like, go check, go check, go car. And then that's when I went to the house. that? She's the one that works in the picture. Okay. And then I went to the house and I saw my brother there, his friend. And then I was like, what's he was like, oh, he just stole the car. Okay. And I was like, so let me ask you this. You then deliver the food to your house. You find out your brother and his friend are there. You know that they're not in the car. They tell you not to get in the car. Mm -hmm. How did you get in touch with him to get picked up? Because he was inside the house. What house? Our house. What? Yeah. So he stole a car, stashed it, and went back to your house? Yeah. Okay. But like, I didn't know what the car looked like, and I told him, because our friend, since he died, and nobody lies on him, mm -hmm. so he said, oh, you want to come with me to pick up my friend? I was like, all right, is, is it a cop car? Is it not, like, stolen? He was like, no, nah, it's not stolen, bro. Like, Dude, you're fucking three-quarters retarded, aren't you? Because mm -hmm. every so fucking you. thing you just said was dumb as fuck. All right, so you just said you knew you stole a car, but then he ends up at your house, and then you go get in a car with him. You don't own a fucking car, so what the fuck do you think the car you got into was? And then you start talking about whether it's a cop car or not, which nobody knew about at the time. You are so fucking stupid. If it wasn't fucking for autonomic breathing, you'd be dead. You don't even know what that means, because you're too stupid. Oh, I'm not with this kid. You're an idiot. I just want to find where they broke out of the car. Greg Bigda would take the case to trial, but would be acquitted on all charges. The president of the Greater Springfield NAACP would ask that Greg be removed from the force, stating, and I quote, The failure to convict Bigda sends a clear message that an officer can be caught on video, brutalizing and threatening to murder and plant evidence on citizens, and be justified in the eyes of a jury, end quote. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time here on the Red Tree Crime YouTube channel.